Oh. Hi, Giovanni. Brian, service tech with TC Hefford. <laughs> Just want to show you something in your sump, which I'm pretty sure you're aware of. Is you have a lot of iron. Oh. We... In your in your water. <sighs> See that? It's called iron ochre. And the best and easy way to treat this is use iron out. No. Oh. You, know, you want to buy the concentrated kind, the powdered kind, because the, the spray on is way diluted. So all you're going to do, um, once a month, mix a cup of this with hot tap water and dump it in your sump pump. And if you want to get a toilet brush or something to stir it up, just to agitate the water, and you're good to go. So if you want to point the video right in the sump, can you put your light on? Oops. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how to do the light. All right, hold on. You're getting, like, too advanced for my skills. Can you see that? All right, so I'm just going to rinse that off. Get all the thick stuff off the walls. So what if you pour some stuff in there, or you just... Yep, I'm going to show you right now. Oh, you didn't pour it yet. Nope. Okay. Do you guys have videos like this on your website? No, but I probably should. What am I doing? I'm blocking it. Oh, so that, it's a powder. Yep. And how much again? I'm just putting a lot right now because it's pretty thick in there. Okay, so normally... So basically a cup cup of the iron, mix it with hot water in a small bucket or something, a gallon jug or whatever, and then just dump it in there and you can agitate it. The water, clean the sides. And can we do this when the pump is already yep. in there? Yep. Yep. Or just squish around the pump? Yeah, I'm just, it's just easy to get all the iron off it right now. Oh, I can smell something. Yeah, it's, you can actually use this on your laundry really yep. and another you ever open the back of your toilet and you know how it's all rusty in there yes that use that in there too yeah all right like we should just, we should this. post this video and tag that company and your company yeah right <laughs> rusty and removal wow. and we're going to talk about a sparkle in the back of your reservoir because that's important <laughs> oh yeah and it gets rid of those stains on the you know around the rim too oh really yeah awesome i am posting that now, video it's turning black so what's that mean it's killing it so now we when we were looking in there at one point we thought we saw little holes there in the side of the holes. yep that allows the water to come in the liner okay so you can pump it up so if those get blocked with that crap yep which is again what is that it's called iron ochre iron ochre it comes from algae wetlands gotcha I can't believe nobody ever told us this before. It's a study that I've been doing just in the last couple months. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Good for you. Now, how do you get that crap out of there? Just let the pump do it? Yep, the pump will do it. And it doesn't hurt the pump at all to have... Nope, nope, nope. Even though the pump is cast iron, but it, it doesn't hurt the pump. Okay. You, may, you probably don't want to let it sit in there for like six months, but... Yeah. All you gotta do is just... You got a high water table here anyway, so it's gonna push itself out. And also, iron does build up in your pipes. So, once you put this in there and you flush it, it'll eat the iron that's in the pipe, too. Oh, cool. Awesome. I'm just going to let that sit. And now, I'm gonna... if you want to pause this. Yep. Pause this one. Okay. You ready? Yep.
for the first time it does take a couple washes but it already looks so much better yeah i can't believe the difference so what did it spray that for that is a pressure release valve oh. so it allows your pump to pump to full capacity if those get clogged it reduces your the amount of gallons per hour by oh. almost half. So wow. I'm just going to add a little bit more. You don't have to put this much in once a month. I'm just making sure I get rid of a lot of it. Sit a little bit more and then we'll get back to the video. All righty, pause in again. Okay, we're on. We're on. Should be a lot cleaner. I'll just hold this down a little bit. And what's that? Besides to make everybody wet, what's that do? It's a, it's a pressure. Look at the holes. Look at that. That's what they're for, G. Yeah. Look a lot better, don't it? Yes. Oh, so it's a pressure release, so the stuff doesn't get. Yeah, if, it, if both you have one on the check valve, one on the pump, and you also have another one on your battery backup. Mm -hmm. So if they get clogged, the pump's not going to pump to a full. Looks really good, Brian. I am going to post this video, by the way, yeah. on my YouTube channel. This is good info. All right, so I'm going to do one more. One more what? I'm going to put a little bit more iron in there to, to kill, kill it all, what's in there. Okay. So, you can go ahead and pause it. Yeah. Right. And we're on. All right, we're doing the final, final rinse. Nice and clean. Should be called Iron Be Gone. Call me Iron Man. <laughs> I am Iron Man. All right. So, anything else you want to tell me? I'm, I'm gonna just That's pretty it. much it. So, Brian with TC Hafford Basement Systems. That's how you clean iron out of your out of your system. I highly recommend these guys. Awesome job, Brian. So, good luck. Thank you.